Hi guys and welcome back to my channel and this update for flower pan. I haven't updated you guys on this project for, I don't know, three months or something. It's been a long time and I have great progress so I am happy to share that with you today. I think the creator's name of this project is And she has taken some flowers and their meanings and connected them to prompts. And I have chosen products based on those prompts that she has set for each and every flower. So let's take a look at the progress that I have and let's roll in some new flowers today, shall we? The first thing I wanted to do was to hit a no pan left behind goal on this one. This is from Juvia's Place. It's the Magic Palette. And um, it's kind of the only one that I've actually like fallen for. I was very happy to receive this in a declutter pile which I bought two years ago maybe and uh, I have checked their other palettes out and I'm just not intrigued by their color stories in general. They have a pink one that I really am intrigued by but the rest of them were like mm, whatever but I received this one and I have used this quite a lot actually. I think I have three pans in here. Yeah, I have three pans in here. I love using this as a face palette. I can use this as a bronzer, blush, a foundation. You know, I can do pretty much with this and of course it's an eyeshadow palette as well. These pans are so huge though so it really works well as a face palette because you can get into those shades with a bigger brush. So I love that. And the last shade I actually used today so that was this one right here. I have a hard time using golds but I did that today together with a pink so that was a lot of fun and I have reached the goal of you know, using all of the shades in here. This was for the flower Iris, which stands for inspiration. And I chose this palette because it inspires me to use it as a face palette. And I got the idea that maybe in one, you know, video in the future, I will show you how I do my full face of makeup with only eyeshadows. And that goes for everything, like mascara, blush, everything on my lips on my cheeks, in my hair, <laughs> you know? I just feel like this inspires me to do a video like that where I, I show you guys how you can use only eyeshadows for your whole face. So that's why this was in here and it's rolling out now. So let's move on to the next flower, which is the Amaryllis, which stands for pride. Something that you're proud of. And this was a little bit of a tricky prompt I think because I'm not really proud of makeup but I was like what is the hardest thing for me to actually pan can I pan that can I pan that to completion that would make me proud in the makeup sense of the word um and so I chose a highlighter stick because highlighters are the most hard to finish I think uh, you use it on a very small part of your face, maybe on your body in the summer, or at least I do that. But otherwise, it's really hard to use up a highlighter, I think. And a lot of them are so shimmery that I, I don't really want to use them on my face. So I want to use them as eyeshadows, but then they take a long time as well because I have so many other eyeshadows. So when will I actually do that? Who knows? But if you watch my yearly empties last year, you will know that I already finished it. I don't have it here. It was a mini from Essence and yeah, I just, I just finished it up. So that was a great goal, I think. And I was proud, proud <laughs> to have it out and actually using it up. Then I have been working on the flower Leatrice, which stands for joy or happiness or celebration. And the prompt was something you use on special occasions. So I wanted to use this Odin's Eye Highlighter Palette 10 times. Now, this one, as you can see, has a few different shades. This one is actually pink. This one is a gold, very glittery shade. It's a blue and a gold. And I will say, this is not something I would normally use. This is way too colorful, way too glittery, but for special occasions, like when I'm on camera, because the camera takes away a lot of makeup. So I do use this for very particular and special occasions, like when I record, uh, because I can use a lot more glitter and shimmer because the camera takes away a lot of it. 
uh, and I also can use it on stage or when I'm home alone. Uh, but I wouldn't use it as an everyday highlighter, you know? These two together though, worked surprisingly well. But I have used it for the 10th time today. So I am rolling it out and the flower Leatrice as well. Next up we have Begonias and that stands for uniqueness. So I was supposed to choose a one of a kind product. I chose a powder blush. I think this is the only powder blush I own um, well, I do have pressed powders, of course, but not like loose like I had in this one. This one, however, I emptied into this because I didn't know how to get to the product otherwise. So I have emptied it into this paste container and this is how it looks. I wanted to use this five times to just see how to use it and I did. It was a little bit too dark for me right now. So I think this would be better suited for the autumn or maybe winter time. This one is rolling out because I have used it the five times and so are begonias. They are rolling out. And then we have the last flower that I've been working on, which is the alyssum, worth beyond beauty. So something that makes you feel worthy I chose a bath blend and I chose it partly because it was called the love potion and I thought when I feel loved that's when I feel worthy uh, in many cases so I was like okay um, so we have the love theme there but also you know I had worked on my previous year's goals and then I bought these things that I wanted from P. Louise so I was like okay I have earned these things you know so i'm worth it kind of i did use it up and it was in my yearly empties so you will not be able to see the empty here unfortunately but this means we are actually having a total refresh of this um of this project and we will be rolling in five new flowers so let's get going with those. I haven't actually heard of these three first flowers that I'm going to mention, but um, she did include, like the creator, she did include pictures in the document um, that you can download. So uh, asters is the first flower, or aster if it's one, I guess. Aster stands for dainty, so something fragile. And I thought revolution. Uh, revolution, essence, those really cheap brands, I know that these texts, they wear off, the lids often break or, you know, get loose. So I was like, okay, this, this is a fragile little palette here. So we have four blushes in here. My goal is to use this palette seven times, I think. Yeah, seven times. I can use any of these blushes. I just want to get some use on it. I haven't used it before, I think, or maybe I used one of the shades or something. This is fairly new to my collection. I got it in an advent calendar and um, yeah, I'm actually pretty excited. So I wanna use this seven times. It doesn't matter which shade. Then we have Delphinium and that stands for boldness. So the prompt was a bold lipstick. I chose this from Essence. This is called Late Night and it's a red shade. And that scares me. <laughs> I'm not a red lipstick person. Uh, let's see how it swatches. So yeah, to me, this is a very bold color, not something I would wear on a daily basis. Maybe I would use this as like a liquid blush or something. My goal is to use it four times, which might be the first time I have that as a goal. I usually have three or five, uh, but now I was like, well, I, I might be able to use it on my cheeks as well. So maybe three times on the lips, one time on the cheeks. I don't know, but we have a new number, guys. We have a new number. Four is the number. Four times. Then we have the flower Freesia, and that stands for trust. And I was supposed to choose a dependable product, and I chose this one. This is a cleansing butter from the body shop. It works. It's good. I have already started working on this, um, but yeah, I didn't have any cleansing butters to work on right now. So I was like, let's bring it in and let's bring it in to finish. This will take me quite some time. I don't know if I can finish it in two months. I will update you every other month on this project from now on, I think. So 
yeah, I don't think I will be able to finish this in two months, but maybe in four months we can have this as an empty. And also I didn't mention this, but this project doesn't have an end date. So I am just trying to go through all of the flowers that she wrote down. And whenever I'm finished with that, that's when my finale will be. Then we have bluebells and the prompt is something blue and it stands for kindness. So something blue, I chose this tease lip gloss. Does it have a name though? Yes. Hmm, I can almost not see it. Crave. This is in the color Crave. And of course, this is the blue that I'm talking about, of course. And I wanted to use this. This is how it looks. So it does have a tint to it. It's like a brownie tint. And I wanted to use this, let's see, 10 times. It is pretty thick. I don't love uh, thick glosses too much, but I definitely want to get some use on it and see what I think. So the last, we've come to the last product, guys. And that's the Hyacinth. That stands for truth. And I wanted something with light coverage, you know, to show your true colors or something like that. I have chosen a lip oil. It looks so intimidating to me, um, this shade, but it has a very light coverage. You can see a little bit of color but not much at all so i can use this on an everyday basis it feels really good i have really discovered that i love lip oils and also liquid uh liquid lip balms <laughs> i don't know it's something i've discovered like the last couple of months and um so this is very light coverage you will see my lips through it uh, it doesn't cover very much. So light coverage it is. That's for the hyacinth. Aren't hyacinths pink as well? So maybe this is a good color. Are they pink though? Hmm, I should have looked at that before, but it doesn't matter because that's not really the prompt, but I just thought hyacinths, it, they sound pink in my ears. I have to check it up, <laughs> but that's it. Oh, I wanted to use it 20 times as well. So you know that. So. 20 times, 10 times, finish, four times, and seven times. So these are the new products that I will be working on. And uh, hopefully we can have some rollouts and roll-ins until the next update. And with that being said, I really hope you enjoyed this update and that I'll see you in the next one. Have a great evening. Bye.